Hey folks, what's going on? Mr. Dave here on the Rock Pile. We are finishing up this job in Poway and we are putting on the bleeds. These are paints that are put on with the hose at the same time so that the colors bleed as it were down into the cracks and little pockets and stuff and give it a real natural look. So we've done all these rocks all the way up here. All those are done. These are done. This guy is a real rock. This is artificial and you can kind of tell we are pretty darn close. Uh, I do bleed over a little bit of paint onto the real rocks, just, just a mist up to try and blend the two together. That kind of ties them in real well. But you can see that this process is just coming along really nicely. We've got some good color, good creams, got some good dark colors, <coughs> a little bit of the orangey kind of a color. And, uh, and so all I do is I get it wet first with the hose, and then I put on the color, and then I watch it and mist it, and then it kind of bleeds and blends into the texture. So we're going to walk over here in front of you here and do this section right here so I get it wet and then I spray got, I got black but it's not pure black it has a little bit of raw umber in there to just soften it black and sometimes go blue I've got an orangey cream in here and I'll just mix that in and then I mist it with the hose and the water starts moving and it'll move for a while if there's some areas that you don't want that much black you just you know take them off and but you let it start moving see and the water gets on there and it's moving it's moving it's moving it doesn't go away right you know instantly so you'll put some color on there and it'll look real real nice and look awesome and then you're like, wow, where did it go? Well, that's what happens when you're using the, the hose. You can use little pump sprayers if you want, but I found that the hose is okay. It gets the job done. I've got a little bit of orange in the color already here, so I wanna make, amplify that a little bit more. You can actually add color to your rocks themselves just by doing this technique as well. You spray it on there and you mist it, and then the droplets spread out and go in all the little pitting that you have on your rock. You can see how much the black is just disintegrated in certain areas because the hose is very powerful. It's got a lot of water, a lot of volume. See, look at that. The, you can see the color of the orange is just, just diminished quite a bit. And that's kind of cool. When you look up and you look at the real rocks that are around, you know, there's a, there's a subtlety, but then there's also some stronger areas that really pop. So it's kind of a balancing act. You're kind of going back and forth when you're uh, doing these, these rock jobs. So, got the last little corner here, and I've got orange on that side, which I really like. This could use a little more color, just to emphasize that. A little bit more in here. Now I'm just barely getting any water on that. And you can see we got the orangey color, we got the green fog coat there that's still coming through. Remember, we put that fog coat on there and that's a cementaceous product and that gets your rocks a cementaceous color it's not just paint and so the only way that color is going away is if the paint if the cementaceous stuff itself goes away and so that's what's good about using a colored cement essentially or, or mortar mix or fog coat which is a stucco product and stuff so anyways there you go you can see the little trick there with the hose uh calm the bleeds so anyway if you want to learn how to do this stuff go to www.davehenderson.podia.com, P-O-D-I-A. And uh, you've got lots of stuff there you can download for free. Got my book there, Making Rocks, and some other stuff. Going to continue to keep putting new content up there um, as I have time. And uh, I'm alive and breathing. So, anyway, hope you're having a great day. Remember to be thankful and forgiving when uh, you're living your life. That makes us all blessings and not curses to those that uh, are in our lives, family, friends, everybody. And we want that. So. That's a good thing. Aim for that, and if you do that, you're doing awesome. So thanks for watching my videos. Check out stuff at my uh, online store. If you want to read my blogs on stuff, you can go to DaveRHenderson.com. Check that out. So anyway, Mr. Dave on the Rock Pile. Painting rocks. Almost done with this bad boy in power. See you soon. Bye.